What's up guys? Hey, listen, I'm working on a John Deere. It's an X330 with the twin cylinder Briggs and Stratton engine. Uh, I'm getting some blow by past the spark plug. So I took the spark plug boot off and I noticed whenever I was wiggling it off that the spark plug was just loosey-goosey. Now, mind you, the spark plug is tight in the threads. So let's break this loose hmm. and just see what in the world is going on with this spark plug. Now you're seeing this real time. I have not had this plug out yet. It's pretty warm. I've actually started this engine up. Huh. It just spins. Gonna have to finish taking it out with the wrench. I wish you'd look at that. Look at all that dust coming out of there. What in the actual heck? Now, when this engine was running, it was trying to push this plug out and just look at the gap. No wonder it's misfiring. I've seen plugs fail like this before, but this is the first one that I've seen that was had all of its corrosion and, and probably porcelain dust from this thing. Just It was just sitting there. Every time that cylinder would fire, it would be trying to suck this porcelain back and forth like this. And it just absolutely, I don't know why it failed. I think this is a, a champion spark plug from the factory. I need to get this off of here so I can see if it's a factory, it might be a factory Briggs plug. This is all exhaust, uh, ex, you know, engine exhaust all over. Yeah, this is an XC9, XC92YC. Now I wonder if that is the same thing as an RC12YC. I'm gonna see if it will interchange and we'll put a set of plugs in this thing. Wow, that's crazy, crazy. Definitely running, oh, a little rich, but it still looked like it might've been sucking a little bit of air right there too. Wow, that's crazy. It's only got 32 hours on it. I don't think anybody's been messing with this. It doesn't look like it's ever been uh, a wrench put on that spark plug before. I put a filter in it in 2017. Didn't look too bad. Oil still looks nice and clean from when I did a service to it almost five years ago. These lawnmowers just don't get used. Some of some of my guys that have these, they use the absolute dog pee out of these. And then you have the ones like this that just sit up 
and accumulate 30 hours over the over a five year period it's ridiculous so that's why this one's in here it's been sitting up it's probably going to have to have the carburetor gone through on one of these but hey guys i've got videos on this actual not this mower but one exactly like it how we rebuild this style of carburetor i'll link it in the description below so that you if you have a john deere x330 you can uh figure out how to do the carburetor just like this one for yourself i'm just going to check this spark plug this is good and tight we'll go ahead and remove it just to see what it looks like i'm going to be installing the fr4 51 55 ngks in place of these champion spark plugs once I get this new one installed, we'll see if my miss is gone. If not, we'll probably have to go through the carburetor. Like I said, it's definitely running a little bit on the fat side. You can tell because the spark plug porcelain or the insulator firing tip is soot covered. And it could be from me running this thing on choke. Let's try to get this thing to run and you may be wondering why aren't you putting some anti-seize on these spark plug threads well you don't have to these cadmium or these nickel cadmium whatever they call it uh, coating on the outside of these spark plugs do not require a matter of fact NGK says don't put anti-seize on my spark plugs so we'll just get these tightened down. If you notice I'm using just a little palm ratchet, you don't want to over torque this. Tight to, I don't know, half a turn. And that's plenty tight for a gasket seat spark plug. surging wide open throttle obviously we're going to have to go through the carburetor has no idle when i pull it to idle it does absolutely no idle so we're going to have to go through this carburetor like like i said i'll link in the description below where you can find that video to where i rebuilt this carburetor but anyway guys y'all have a good rest of your day have a good one we'll see you guys on the next one more medic one.